the full process of website integration of Eventbrite announcement on the Open Source Ecology site. We're going into admin mode on the OSC website. And then the question is the one thing that's tricky is how do you put the widget and with the countdown date countdown time on a on a recent workshop announcement that we did. And so this is Microhouse three. Let's go to Microhouse three. You have to release the page. So I have to quit. How do I do this? Just, Just close it. Close it. It's empty. There's nothing here. Did you create the page? Yeah. Oh, no, wait. Never mind. Okay. Okay. So, um, this is published, so let's just... Microhouse Workshop 3. I'm going to publish. Yeah, it's published. Yeah. Okay, it wasn't published. Now I'm going to view the page. Okay. So, the first thing that you need to check... How come slider's not showing? It hasn't loaded yet. You want to get inspired by the video? Oh, it's open it okay, so, you do that later. If you want to do this, let's just do this. Okay, so pay attention. The first thing you need to check is on the page, you have to make sure that you have two column left navigation selected okay. under uh, template. Under template? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that is under the post itself? Yeah. Editing the post the itself. page, page. It's not a post, it's a page. Okay. Okay. Now, um, what we are going to do here is we're going to go to Appearance, Theme Options. Mm -hmm. Yep, keep going. Okay. And then the Theme Options, we're going to go to Sidebar. Okay, Theme Options, Sidebar. And you can see here a list of all the sidebars that we've created in the past. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to click Add New. Add new sidebar. And I'm going to call it Michael House Workshop 3. Mm -hmm. And then we have to give it an ID, image. This doesn't matter. We just have to do it. Okay. And then you do, you don't click add new, you do save changes. Okay. So it's saving. Mm hmm. <clears throat> Okay. Now, this new sidebar has been created, but you got to put content in it. Mm -hmm. And the way you put content in it is you go to Widgets. Okay. And as you see, you have here a list of all the sidebars once again, and here's our new sidebar, Microhouse Workshop 3. Okay. okay. You click on this little arrow to open it, and there's nothing in it. Like, if you look at the other ones, they have content. They have these little boxes... Mm -hmm. This one has the navigation, this one has the Eventbrite uh, embed. So we're going to have to add that content here, and we do that by dragging this text box in here. Okay, so there's a text box that you drag and drop. Right, and now I'm going to call it Info. This is the navigation that we're working on. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to copy this one. No, actually, let me copy... This one, which is the micro, the previous micro house. I'm gonna copy it. Close here. 
Then I'm going to go here and paste it. But now I need to change the URL of all of these. So I'm going to get this piece of the URL. Go back to widgets and replace this. Okay, I'm going to save this. Okay, yeah, that was all the navigation. And, the click, and click automatically add paragraphs. Save. Okay. Okay, now we go back to our page. Okay, we go back to our page, our Microhouse Workshop page. Mm hmm And right here on the side, primary sidebar choice. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we're going to select the one we just created, which is Microhouse Workshop 3. Okay. Right, and you, you update. Update. So basically what you're doing here is like, so, so this is all in different places. In one place you create the sidebar, in another place you add content to it, and then here on this page what you're doing is you're telling it to use that specific box. Mm -hmm. So now if we go to the page, refresh, we will have, we already have. So this these links should work. You should test the links, learning outcomes, uh, schedule, mm -hmm. and registration. Okay? Mm -hmm. So now you need to update this. I know that's already correct. Okay. Now, now the second step, we go back to widgets. The second step, you can close this one, is to add the um, Eventbrite widget here. So once again, I'm going to drag the text box under here. And you don't give it a title this time. And text is HTML. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just that we can put whatever HTML you want on it. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to go to Eventbrite to um, generate... to generate the widget. Um, mm -hmm. So they just changed the... Uh, okay, they just changed the interface, so I'm a little bit lost, so I'm going to go to my events. Yep. And then here we have the Microhouse Workshop. I'm going to click on it. And then here we're going to go to... Hmm... Let's change this. Widgets. There's widgets on the left hand side. Where you see it? Up. Under invite and promote, we have widgets. Where? Oh, widgets, okay. Yeah, before it was called something else. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're going to select the countdown. Mm -hmm. Select countdown, which is the last one. Right. And it generates this. Here's the countdown right here on the right. Generous. Now you don't want all of this stuff on it. You don't want the event bright header so I'm going to check that out. You don't need the event logo. Uh, you do want the event name, dates, venue, location, register and tweet. So we want all this. Now mm -hmm. this is a little faint so I like to change this. So I'm going to change the text color to white mm -hmm. and the link color to white as well. So now it pops a lot more, right? Then you click this button, create your widget. Now I'm going to select this, copy it, and go back to the widgets on Eventbrite and paste it. Now Eventbrite includes all this other stuff, like advertising, that I don't like to use. So I kind of delete it. Um, so let's see. I'm going to look for... It's this tag, and I'm going to remove it. This one that says Powered by Eventbrite. Mm -hmm. 
actually you can remove every anything after i frame except the the last div okay yeah so div opens zip closes you do save you go back to yep not not this one this one refresh and you should have the widget on the left and there it is very nice so now okay. i've got the widget and the yeah. Table. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Now the next step, and we need to do two more steps, which is um, to add this workshop to the navigation. So once again, now we're going to go to appearance menus. Hmm. Now under menu, under workshop, we have the brick press workshop, which is pass. We want to archive that one, right? Mm -hmm. So now I'm under menus and under workshops, I have the brick press. I no longer want this one here because it's passed. So I'm going to do uh, remove. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we're going to add a new page and you do that. First of all, you need to make sure that you're on main menu, primary menu has to say main menu, right? Okay. Because there's two menus. So I'm just going to check Microhouse Workshop and do add to menu. Mm -hmm. It's going to add it at the bottom. Mm -hmm. So what you do is you click and you drag it yeah. until you have it under... Uh, uh, under Power Cube. Under, yeah. Under so I'm going to take off the word workshop. We mm -hmm. just keep it this way because it's already under workshops. Um, and you save the menu. Okay. Now, if you go here, you refresh, it should appear already here mm -hmm. in Microhouse so workshop, workshops. and that takes you directly to the page. Okay. Okay, great. Or it should. Yes. Okay. Now, the last step is you go back to pages. To the pages list, I'm going to search for workshops and what do we call it? We call it workshops. Okay, here's the workshops page. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now what we're going to do is basically it's move. Uh, like the CB Press Workshop. Downtown and then move this one. Yeah, but... Um, let me just see how this, what this looks like so I know where to put it. Okay, so... Gonna Put it. I mean, these should actually be most recent at the top, so this should actually be in inverted order whenever you want to, to change that. But right now, I'm just going to... The most recent should be at the top. This is... You know, I mean, it's going... Should be Microhouse Workshop, CB Press Workshop, 3D Printer Workshop. Um, CB was the most recent. The other two are reversed, yeah. Okay, so now, um, where we have CB, here it is. And do we have a space for it here? Past workshops there, yeah. No, but I need to see if I have a column for it. Okay, yes, there is. Okay, there is a column, an empty column here. So I'm just going to move this there, just the content, you leave all. Mm, no, actually, I'm just going to copy this, copy, not delete. And paste it here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we're going to edit this service box. It's called, it's actually Micro House Workshop. Mm -hmm. And the URL is this.
Oh no, okay, so the, the link URL, yeah, this is the link that you want to link to, and now you want to tell it what image to use. So the image is the same as the other Microhouse Workshop, so I'm just going to copy it. Yeah. This one. Just going to copy it and paste it. You have to paste it twice. Here and here. Okay. Update. Now you gotta put uh, what are the dates? July what? 25 through the 29th. Actually, let's just copy the one. Okay. Update. Update. Refresh. Okay, so yeah. Okay, so then you you can reorganize this. So now here we are. Actually, we want to change the order of these because this one comes first. So I'm just going to take this, put it here. Mm -hmm. Wait, what did I do? Oh yeah, no, that was correct. Put it here. Okay. Okay, now, now if you click on it, it should take you to the right page. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have 22 okay. days left, so sign up. Yeah. Thank you very much. You're going you're gonna to put this online? No. Yeah? No. What? Why are you going to put...